Hi, you've clicked on today's Tropical Tibbet for Wednesday, August 28th, and looking at the Atlantic out here, still quiet. We have an area of thunderstorms in the Western Caribbean associated with a defluent flow aloft, but there's really nothing um, at the surface to speak of right now. Uh, so no development really expected in here over the next couple of days. And uh, we have a tropical wave. You can kind of see the low-level structure spinning with it here. Nice big spin in the central Atlantic, but there's no thunderstorms with it. And this is the wave that the models were previously pretty excited about. We had almost all the models showing at least a tropical storm, if not a hurricane, near or north of the eastern Caribbean uh, by later this week. And uh, the models have since backed off on that solution during the last few days. This is the GFS out to seven days, really showing nothing with this as it comes through the islands as a very weak wave, and it never develops. This is the European, which is also getting weaker. It has a healthy-looking wave axis coming into Puerto Rico here, but again, never really closes it off and keeps it weak. And we have the UK Met, which has been fairly consistent on a broad area of low pressure, but even it looks a little weaker this morning on its run, uh, showing a broad wave, uh, but no low here as it nears the Eastern Caribbean. So the models are really backing off on this. And it's a little strange given that conditions seem pretty favorable. Notice again the trade wind flow. We have very light winds south of about 15 north in here. If you look for the trade wind belt, it's really up here near 20 north uh, latitude uh, where the winds finally get fast. And so we have a lot of natural cyclonic vorticity in here. You can see how this thing is spinning away very nicely. And uh, you might say there's dry air out here because there's no thunderstorms with it. But if we actually look at the uh, precipitable water anomaly, which shows how much moisture there is in the air relative to normal, we see all these green colors here indicating more moist than normal conditions. We have our big wave in here with this burst of moisture, and then all around it, mostly green, not so much blue in here. So the MDR, the main development region, is actually pretty moist right now. It's just that we're not going, we're not getting a lot of thunderstorms at the moment. But you can see that uh, the problem this year so far really has been the stability of the air mass out, out here in the Central Atlantic. And it's getting pretty late in the year now. By the end of August, we should have had uh, some hurricanes by now. We have not had any. So the forecast for an active season so far um, hasn't been working out. I still think a burst is coming in September, uh, but we are seeing it a little quieter out here than we would want to see. But uh, we do see it starting to get more moist out here, like I said. And if we look at uh, vertical instability here, this black curve shows the normal value for the given time of the year. Back here was the beginning of June, the beginning of the hurricane season. You can see that since that time, it's been below average, below the black line here. But now we're seeing it spike up uh, for the first time above the black line since the hurricane season started and so uh, this indicates that we might be starting to see a little bit of that pattern change I talked about for September where the MJO is starting to come over and help this is the upward motion map initialized today showing these green colors indicating um, upper level divergence and upward motion starting to extend into the Atlantic we really want to get this green bomb out of the Eastern Pacific because the Eastern Pacific is kind of like that greedy brother that takes all of the food it tends to hog all of the storms and all of the convection when the MJO gives it any part of this green here. So we need all this green over in the Atlantic for it to really take advantage. But we should start to see some destabilization of the atmosphere in here. And we are seeing that in terms of vertical instability and we're seeing more moisture out here. So we just now need one of these waves to actually take advantage and develop here. We do have more waves coming off. We have one, uh, this is the one we're watching. We have uh, one two, and then a third one behind it uh, coming into view off Western Africa here. I think this one is forecasted by the GFS and European to perhaps become a tropical storm way up to the north here near the Cape Verde Islands. That may be something for these folks to watch in here for some nasty squally weather. So we may get another named storm out here, but we're still waiting for the big hurricanes uh, that really should be coming this year in the pattern that we've had and so far are not showing themselves. I think we're still in for a burst during September. Uh, right now, none of the models forecast a hurricane during the next 10 days, so we'll see. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this wave here. Uh, this wave uh, being as large as it is, and you can see it's spinning in here. And remember, the water gets warmer as you get west here. Once it gets to 50 west, this water um, warms up by about a whole degree Celsius from where it is now. And so if you have a spin like this, if you see it come west, um, it's likely to start firing more thunderstorms than you see with it now. And this may be one of those things that sneaks up on the islands and actually tries to develop right in here. And we may still uh, see this try to get named Gabrielle as it comes into this area. So we'll watch it in here during the next few days. Definitely not going away. This will definitely have to be watched. Right now, the models aren't very excited about it. So uh, we will see how strong it gets. But it's likely to develop gradually 
as it comes in here, and I wouldn't be surprised at all to see it get named. And then if it does, uh, we'll deal with uh, its forecast after that point. So right now, still quiet in the Atlantic. If you are not a fan of hurricanes, this is good news for you. I still think uh, September will see an uptick in activity, and we should see a more active than normal September in theory. Uh, but we'll see if that actually comes to fruition here. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.